What is up YouTube? Thank you for checking back in with the Doghouse TV upload. If you guys are new to the channel and you're checking in to see how this uh, roof skin swap is going to go, mind you I have done a little bit of body work here and there. You can check it out throughout the channel if you are interested, but I've never swapped a roof skin before. Uh, so it's going to be a, an interesting project and it's not going to be really a how-to. It's going to be more so me filming. Try to film every single step-by-step -step of me removing this old roof, well, the new roof skin off the, the donor car. And then I'm going to be uh, obviously taking a weekend and then I have to remove my quarter glass, my hatch, and my windshield in order to get this roof off. But let me just show you real quick as to why I am changing the roof on this car. The previous owner wasn't the brightest guy in the world. If you uh, follow through the playlist, you can see all the different things I've done to the car and fix it up. And I just want to save this car. It has no rust. It has a clean title. And I don't know why somebody would cut it up the way they did, but this is uh, what I'm working with right now. If you go through my playlist, you'll see a couple different versions of me trying to save the sunroof, quote unquote. Uh, it was like a piece of Lexan that I had riveted on, and then the first one cracked. The second one I glued down. It worked very well as, like, it didn't leak or, you know, like, it worked as a sunroof, but it looked so, so dumb. Like, it just looked super ghetto and just like a typical 240. And I know my 240 is kind of beat up, kind of raggedy. It is a drift car. It does get abused and such, but I do want it to look and play the part of a nice street car. That's why I put an interior back in it and I try to clean up as much as I can. So enough with me rambling. I have the entire donor roof sitting right here on my little uh, saddle horse, whatever you want to call it. Uh, what we're going to be doing is following the Nico Club uh, FSM that somebody had uploaded. If you guys give me one second, I'll sh grab my cell phone and show you that real quick. All right, so this is just on Nico Club right here. This is a form online and this is the FSM for uh, like a, a body guy or the body shop to go through if they ever needed to do repairs and such to the vehicle. So this is what I'm going to be following if you are, uh, you know, trying to attempt this or do this yourself. This is a good thing to look up. You can just type that in on Google. Uh, as of right now, I'm going to just grab a wire wheel and my drill and then go through and then start drilling out, or excuse me, uh, cleaning up all the seam sealer, all the edges where everything is... Uh, painted and then welded and such and then just go along the side and clean everything up and prep to start drilling out all this stuff so it's going to be a, a lengthy process but hopefully this will help out a lot and i also have a couple of pictures and uh, i posted on a few of the pages on facebook and i had a couple people that commented on there uh, that followed the youtube channel and uh, they were you know wishing me luck and stuff so i don't know if you guys saw that on there but if you did uh, drop a shout out or something say what's up and uh tag along for the ride because uh, this is going to be an interesting little project. So let's get to it. Alrighty guys, so I have went ahead and cut off uh, the A, B, and C pillar that I won't be using. I've exposed the roof skin panel itself all the way around. Same thing on the other side. Here are all the little pinch welds or plug welds, whatever you want to call them. Follows down here, and then this is where they have brazed it. Right across here, and then there's the panel. And again, across the front with all the little plug welds. Everything's exposed. Back over here. I gotta finish this side, get all that stuff off, but I'm almost done here. Just wanted to update you guys on that. And then uh, from there, I'm gonna get my center punch out and punch all these holes and then get ready to drill them out on the donor car itself. And then obviously I've gotta get the cutoff wheel and trim these small welds and see if we can start separating this main panel from the shell of the car.
check in with you guys and show the progress as you can see the uh, donor roof is upside down I have went ahead and drilled out all of the uh, plug welds that are here on the inside that I can see that attach uh, to the skin of the uh, the roof itself and then I've also gone through on these sides and uh, drilled out all these holes I'm gonna flip this over and show you guys my progress so far and kind of explain what I'm doing so that way you guys don't get lost if you're watching this video to kind of figure out what I'm doing exactly all right, so, so far I have drilled out all of the plug welds here along the uh, railing of the car, which would be this area right here. With this removed, it's all right here. And then I've uh, worked away where they've brazed the actual roof skin to the A pillar, and then I've drilled out all these ones. On this side, I have it cut through the braze let me go on the other side. Not a lot of space to work in my little garage here, but those were the little welds or the little brazes, whatever you want to call them. That's the actual skin coming apart from the shell. And that's where it's cut and opened up. It sucks that I had to cut it a little bit more. Hopefully I don't have to, you know, dig in that far in, on my other car. I'll have to, you know, be very careful with it. Probably take my sweet time. But so far it's coming apart and that's the only area that I've really jacked up and then this is split a little bit but nothing major. So little by little guys, just a lot of work, labor intensive but it's not too hard.
Holy crap, that sucked. That was so much work. But the roof skin is off of the shell of the car. I'm also gonna get this out too. I'm gonna drill out these two plug welds here, those two plug welds and use the center support piece also. But there's the roof itself on the car. Got a little bit of ripple damage right here. Where I'm gonna have to do some body work, but it's a lot better than having a crappy sheet metal riveted to your roof. So the lightning was insane. Alrighty guys, so that is it for removing the roof skin on the donor roof. The next task is going to be obviously removing my windshield, my quarter glass, my hatch, getting everything on my red car prepped up so that way I can remove the skin off of this one and then throw this one on. So the only thing that I really ran into, it, my issue, or like that I'm worried about that's going to be an issue is cutting out that brazed area. As you can see, I've got this big old hole here like I talked about earlier. I'm just a little bit, uh, excuse me, I'm just a little worried about, uh, you know, grinding into my pillar and then not being able to repair it or patch it correctly. So I'm going to have to take my time when I do that, removing that braze and uh, figuring out a, a good way to do that. I wonder if I can heat it up um, and maybe like lightly tap and see if I can get it to crack or something. That way I can pull it apart without having to cut into the A-pillar itself. But the skin is right here, it's hanging out. It'll be waiting until I have the time or a good weekend to rip into this car. Uh, I, like I told you guys in the last video or mentioned something in the video that we're going to be trying to rent the track on the 15th. We haven't paid for it just yet, but the plans are uh, set in stone. We just have to get everybody squared away, get the payments in there, and then we'll be good to go. So uh, there's a couple things on the list for that. And then I'm also trying to pick up the engine. I wasn't able to grab the engine for the white car this weekend, but I'm hopefully gonna try to grab it tomorrow, which is Monday or Tuesday and then get that thing over here and get that white car prepped up and get everything back together on that. So there's a ton of footage that needs to be filmed, a ton of things that need to be done. Um, if you guys are interested in it, I'll definitely be uploading throughout the next couple weeks. Uh, as far as that goes, that's it right now for my uh, roof skin removal part one. Uh, if you guys like the video, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button. And if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and let me know what you think about it in the comment section. I really do appreciate everyone who's tuned into the channel. We're slowly uh, climbing up in subscribers. We're like 17,400 something, uh, which is crazy to see. When I went to Colorado or when I was at Colorado, we were only around 15,000. So it's definitely growing. It takes us you know, a little time, but I mean, at the end of the day, it makes me happy to see some guys are, are viewing the, the videos that I upload and enjoying the channel. So other than that, guys, I really do appreciate you guys watching. I will see you in the next video. Have a good week. Take it easy. Later.